And here we are, just spawned into the Internaut. What you're gonna wanna do when you first get in is go straight over to this guy, Skier. When you get to him, you can complete the dialogue, you don't actually have to read it, and he'll give you your starting loot. Okay, you press F to skip it. After this, you'll get all your starting loot. What you're gonna wanna do is take this lucky scav jump box and run all the way over to the elevator. If you're in the main lobby, the elevators are on either side, the right or the left. You're gonna wanna go over to whichever one, it doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna wanna go find a warehouse where you can fit in your scab box. I just go warehouse A because it's the easiest one and none of them are really that full. Afterwards, you just wanna place it down whatever. You're gonna wanna keep your good loot in here, in the scab box. This is how you store everything. For the rest of this loot, you don't really need it. So I just sell mine because it just gives me a quick little money boost. You can come over here if you wanna sell stuff to P90 at Defcom. What this guy does is you can quick sell your items. It's for a slight discount, 5 to 15% less, but it's much quicker. So if you're in an intense situation or a raid and you need to get things out of your inventory, this is definitely the option one you want to go for. So we have an extra two, an extra 92,000. Now I need to go buy ammo for this gun. Now ammo in this game is pretty tricky because there's a lot of different types. But what you're going to want to do if you can't figure it out is just take out the ammo mag and put it in your inventory and then walk up to whichever trader you think it is. After this, you can just go to one of the shops until you find the right thing. This says I have 30 of it, which means this is the right mag. Now is when you go into raid. The raid is at the very end. You have to walk up to these guys. And these are the guys who make you go into raid. You click F on one and there's many different raids. There's streets, interchange, customs, whatever. You see it all. Now I'm going to give a little breakdown of each map. Streets, close to mid-range PvP, not the best loot. Interchange, same thing as streets. Close to mid-range PvP, not the best loot. Customs, a lot better loot than streets and interchange, but it's much farther range PvP. Factory, not the best loot, it's insanely close range, so shotguns rule here. And woods, far range PvP, there's good loot spots, but most people just PvP in woods. Now we're for our first one are gonna go streets with our AK. So one of the things you wanna keep in mind, what I was saying before, is that sound is very prevalent in this game. If you can hear someone, you pretty much know, we just saw someone there. Boom. Easy. Now if you don't already know, you're gonna wanna bind these, so right click, and then press the number you want it on. Four, three, and five are generally the best since they're the closest to your fingers. Now we just killed this guy and got his guns. We saw that guy's arm sticking through so we could kill him. So, once you have the loot that you want and you wanna get out, you're gonna wanna look for one of these places with this type of walls. You'll find them on these on any map, and once you go up to these, there'll be these Ivans. Generally, unless they're glitched, you can just walk up to them and you'll get out. Another feature about this is you can type slash vault. If you do this, you get a little vault that you have here. You can put these, your extra guns and stuff that you want to store for quick, let's say you die quickly and you need a gun, you can store stuff here. Now we're going to go to one of the other maps, factory. Oh my gosh. So now we can heal quickly without having to go into our inventory. We're gonna wait for him to start looting, and then we'll kill him. After getting all this loot, we're gonna wanna get out of here. And we got out just in time. So we just got a bunch of loot. Now, generally with this loot, you don't wanna just go back in because if you die, you're gonna lose it all. So this is where we use our scab box. Our vault's not big enough to store all of it, otherwise we could put it in there. We don't have very much room left. So 
We gotta remember where our scab box is, which is one of the biggest problems. Warehouse A, we put our scab box right here so we can instantly know. Then we can put all this loot in here for later. If we die and we need another kit, boom, it's right there for us. Now there's some other cool aspects about this server. For example, there's unboxes. If we go slash unbox, you can buy crates. Let's buy, boom, unturn off crate. You come over to this unbox section, use. There's, there's a large variety of items you can get. We got a pistol, which isn't the best pull. But what you can also do is vote. So if we type slash vote, it takes you to this screen. Now this is pretty simple. All it's gonna do is ask you to sign in through your Steam. And then once you've done that, sign in through Steam, sign in, boom, you're done. You can just press shift tab again, come back in and slash reward. Now you'll see in the chat, we got 5,000. So then we can slash unbox and we can buy five more crates. Now the difference here is you have the dollars and then the rubles. The dollars can buy you crates and other things and the rubles are just for buying kits, like guns and such. And unbox all these boxes and hope that we get something good. So an L119, this is pretty decent and I'll show you guys how to kit this out and get the ammo for it later. All right, so nothing insane out of here. You can get knives and miniguns, which are worth a lot. But let's say we got this LMT carbine and we wanna go kit it out and get some ammo for it. The first place you're gonna find the ammo, the guns that you get out of the unbox are called illegal guns and you can sell them here at this guy, the illegal gun dealer. Sell owned illegal guns, we can sell all these pistols that we don't want. But if we wanna use the gun and we wanna get ammo for it, we take the mag out and we go to this guy. Look at the type of round, it's an M855, 30 round mag. So we go back to assault rifle and we look for M855. M855 right here, we see it, we can buy, and we check, it's the right mag. Now let's say our gun doesn't have any attachments. We wanna go kit out our gun. We can run over here, I'll show you where the shops are. From here, it's right to the left, supplies and refuge, it's right to the left of P9. So we run all the way back here, and we run past the two gun shops, and we get back here. Now here's where you can buy clothes at the Ragman, and here is where you can buy attachments at the mechanic. Now the thing about shops is you have to level them up, just like in Real Tarkov. You say, I want to level up the shop, and then they give you a quest upgrade the shop. We have to get a blowtorch, a saw, and a hammer. Now, because we don't have a very high level shop, we can't buy the best attachments, so we just have these. And these aren't probably gonna work, but we can try and put some of these on our gun. Now, the way that the scopes work in this game is you have to buy a, for most of them, a Midwest Industries rail scope mount, and then you buy the scope that you want, and then you take this rail scope and you attach it, and then you can put it on your gun. Well, I can't put it on this one because it doesn't take that type of rails, but I can put it on this gun. So I just have a better sight now. So after doing that, we can go out with this L11. We're gonna go put our other guns away because in case we die, I don't wanna lose it all. We're gonna go back to factory. We almost died, so we're just gonna try to get out. Because we have no meds. And somehow we got out. Woo! So that was really close. Now let's say you don't have any meds. We obviously have a few, but let's say you don't. You get out and you need to go buy meds quick. So you run back here, boom, hospital. This is where you're gonna wanna go. This is another shop which you can level up to get better meds, but I'm pretty, I think that the level one meds are just fine. So we can come over here, buy some painkillers, some rags, and then use them. Boom, stop our bleeding. Now let's say that we're all out of guns. We died and we don't have any more guns to use. We need to go over and buy a gun from the shop, if you want to. You come over to this guy, or this guy over here. They both sell different types of guns, different weapons. Now, right now we only have the level one shop, so not great guns. But just like the other ones, you can level up these guys. So I want to level up the shop, boom. And this other guy is the easiest one to level up, proper. I would recommend you level, up him, level him up as fast as you can. He only takes pretty much player kills, and the rest of the guns you can actually just buy from him to level him up. I'll show you how to level up proper. All we need is, as you can see in the top right, six player kills and four kills, I mean four is mesh, the SKs. We're gonna put this other gun that we got in our vault. We're gonna put the special gun that we have in our vault with, along with its ammo. Dang it. So we died there. 
unfortunate, but that was kind of a rough situation. So what we can do is we can run back really close and type slash vault. Then we can grab our gun out of here and we can get right back into the action. We need to kill this naked because we need our six player kills. Whoa, that guy had a really good gun. We died again, unfortunately, so it's time to get another gun. Slash vault, we have one last gun in here. So hopefully we can get our player kills. Oh, we already have our player kills. All right, so I'll show you. We don't have enough room to hold all the ismashes, but we can run back to our warehouse and grab some clothes. Boom, we have a backpack and a vest. We go back, main complex, and we run over to Prapper. We need four ismashes, so we go to his level one shop. Boom. One, two, three, four. Then we click, I want to level up the shop. He says, okay, you have the, ing the ingredients and we complete it, easy. Next, we wanna level up the shop again. Level two is good, but level three is even better. So we need 30 player kills and then some SIG pistols, which we can buy from him. So it's time to go back to factory and get some more player kills. We didn't see Gavin coming, so he was able to kill us. But that's five player kills because you get kills when you're just standing next to someone. We're gonna come here, we're gonna say, show me the shop, and he's gonna go right here. Boom, we can buy an AK. Now, if we want to, we could go to the mechanic and we could kit out this AK so it's much easier to use. So we come over here, mechanic, show me your shop, and we buy here and here. Now we have to buy the, the site maker so that we can put the scope on here. Now, we have something ready to PvP with. So we just killed all them. Boom, bind our meds. And we gotta get out of here. So that's unfortunate. We were trying to get our, the loot that we could get and uh, they spawned in as we were trying to get it. But we have 16 player kills now. And also there's a rule called no spawn camping, which we kind of infringed on a little bit there, but basically they don't want you just camping the spawn. As long as you're like doing something, you just want to get out of the spawn area as quick as you can. In factory, it's kind of hard, but just try your best. here so we're gonna run over and then be as quiet as we can here's someone right here We almost had him, but we're level, we have enough to get the level up. So we're gonna run over here and we need to grab a piece of clothing so we can put all, we can fit all of the um, pistols in our inventory. Show me your shop, level one shop. We're gonna buy the pe the cheapest piece of clothing that'll still carry stuff. So that's this backpack. Boom, put the backpack on and we run over and buy the pistols. The SIG P226, which you buy right here. So we buy all six. Boom, then we run over to Prapper. We say, I want to level up the shop. Upgrade the shop. Boom, now we have level three. Now we have not enough money at all for any of these guns. So we're just gonna go back and buy a good old trusty AK. And then we go back in. And we're gonna get rid of all these mags. 
Now the next quest for proper is just kill 100 players. So factory is gonna be our home for a while. He just no scoped me with the Mosin, bro. All right, I don't wanna waste too much more money. We're getting pretty broke now. So we're gonna go to our warehouse, warehouse A. We're gonna see if we can grab a gun out of here, which we have a lot of guns in here. So this is gonna be perfect. We don't have too much ammo, but hopefully we can get some ammo there. That was intense. <laughs> I don't know how we did kill him. That's unfortunate. Sometimes, especially in factory, you're gonna get these bad spawns, but you kinda just gotta go through it till you get a good run. Now this is a great way for us to farm these kills because there's just so many people. Grab as much as we can and we just try and get out. You can't be greedy. So, we just grabbed as much as we could. Pretty good haul. We didn't get everything that we could have. We could have stayed longer, but we probably would have died. So that's what you gotta understand with Unturnoff. There's so many people, there's no spawn rate on this server, so you just gotta get the loot as fast as you can and get out. Especially if you're not doing too good on money. If we're doing good on money and we're just there for PvP, then we're chilling. But also, here's another quick tip. If there's a bunch of people at the elevator, you can prone like this and stand up, and it'll get you right to the, the interface. We got a bunch of guns. We put them all in here. Boom. Throw some ammo in there, too. And boom. Back we go. Now, all the PvP is really just happening in one area, because we don't have to worry about getting killed in most other areas. All we have to do is just get back to this one area. You want to move while people are shooting so that the other guys can't hear you. Money, this will give you the dollars. See our dollars just went up. Okay, so we died there, but we have 46 player kills now. Because if you're just in the area, it'll give you player kills. So this is incredibly easy to get. Grab the heals. That's a really good gun. We want to try and get out. Now this is a cheeky little spot, but you can just camp here with a shotgun if you really want to. What we can do here is we can just wait and we'll get player kills because if we, people kill near us, then we get the kill. Boom, and we hit it. So now, run over here, get me out of here. We can go to proper and we can level them up. Unlock the shop, we get 50,000 XP and access to level four. Now these are some good guns. Now the next thing I would recommend you level up is the mechanic. This is the one that we want leveled up the most. So blowtorch, saw, and hammer. The best place to get those, probably not factory, although they can spawn. It's just hectic to get out with them. It's probably customs. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the guide. If you guys want to see more or how I get my gun to be solo on my screen, then definitely let me know in the comments. Anyways, peace.